everybody, it's Jessica Lynn from Jessica Lynn Original Studios. Be sure to subscribe if you are new or haven't subscribed yet. If you are returning, welcome. If you're brand new, welcome as well. My name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner and artist for Jessica Lynn Original Studios. And what we're going to be working on today is a card. I created this piece of line art. Um, we'll call it a digital stamp, if you will. And what I did was I went ahead and printed it off. Uh, after I cleaned up the art, I printed it off on a sheet of paper, a heavier cardstock, used my brother's scan and cut to cut it out, and now we're going to make a card. And I wanted to do something that was very Loki, but yet something still that could be inspiring. So I found a sentiment as well, and it says, I assure you, brother, the sun will shine on us again. And I sort of felt like, you know, with everything that's gone on over the last year, I think that's kind of how we all should kind of feel like it's okay. You know, the sun is going to come back, life is going to come back, things are going to come back. And, you know, I thought it was inspiring. And right now we are actually just getting ready to start watching Loki. And I am so excited. I can't wait. So if you've already watched some stuff, I'd love to hear down below from you. What do you think of it so far? No spoilers, please. Um, I loved WandaVision. And so I'm super excited to watch this one as well. So... If you have never used a digital stamp before, I will also tag up in the upper right hand corner a little video that will pop up and if you want to watch how to use a digital image, it will show you the process that I did to get to this point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color him in. Now if you watched my last Loki video, um, I showed you the whole process of me coloring it and I will here as well, but I wanted to kind of test myself and see how quickly I could do this. Um, without speeding up the video and still keep the video under 15 minutes and I'm going off of some of the things that I did before I'm using Copic markers to color I'm stacking colors up he's so cute I love this little image. I, I, you know what I should probably do I have um, Wanda vision as well that I drew and I should probably do both of them kind of standing together it'd be really fun to draw more all right who should I draw from the Marvel Universe next? I can't wait to hear from you guys. So I want to know if you're watching Loki and I also want to know who I should draw next. So who do you want to see? Maybe, oh, maybe I should do, um, oh, what is her name? Scarlett Johansson's character. I can't even think of it. I know it's like, I can't think of it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to look it up. I can't even think of her name. Black Widow. Black Widow. All right. Woo. I got worried there. You guys are all probably like, it's Black Widow, Jessica. Right. Maybe I'll have to draw her because that'd be really fun. Although she'd be really dark to color in because it's all black. But so um, tell me who you'd like to see me draw next. Go ahead and comment down below. And you know what? I don't care. Let's go for some weird 80s obscure movies. Who should I draw? I, I'm just... I think this is a ton of fun. I love this. I love the little look that I have. They have this sort of oh, yay face. And uh, it was funny because my friend said, all your characters are so happy. And I'm like, we have a lot to be happy for, right? Life is moving forward. Things are whatever. And that's just who I am as a person. So, so I'm going to go ahead and color him all in. And then um, I want to make a card that... I have some really cool sky paper, so I'm really excited. So let's go ahead, color him in, and then we will continue to make this card.
I always feel like this is the best part. When you start to build up all these different colors and the glitter pens, it just makes the character come to life. Um, and if you did not watch my last video, um, side note, one of the things I learned that I absolutely love is that you can build up color on top of glitter pens. So if you want to add Copic shadows on glitter pens, it'll still hold that property with the glitter. It's really cool. Or you could use another glitter pen and you could layer up extra colors that way as well. Um, and you can see, uh, I've got it off on that right hand side. The glitter pens that I love are the color, color Technic. They are amazing. Um, full coverage color. Super happy with them. Probably one of the best glitter pens I've used ever. Um, I'm actually on my, I think this is my third set of theirs. Um, downfall to glitter pens is that they either dry out if you don't use them fast enough or if you have colors that you use a lot of, like for example lately I've used a lot of this yellowy gold color, um, the colors go really quick. Look at his little blue sparkle eyes. He doesn't look like he's going to cause any mischief, does he? Just a little. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a card. So what I decided to use was uh, that sentiment that I just, again, all I did was I found a quote by Loki. I went ahead and used just a very generic font that I had on my computer. And I went ahead and put that on there. And then what I'm going to do is just use this as a thin all the way across the bottom, just a small bar. Um, it almost, it's kind of funny, once it was cut out, it almost looked like um, like a movie sign, like an old school theater, like the letters that they would post up. Uh, the paper that I'm using, it's called Stargazer. I got it at Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. And it's funny because I didn't think I would use it nearly as much as I have, but look at this really cool, it's got like holograms on, not all of them, but quite a few. And so I wanted to use that just to bring this card a little bit more life. I really love that one with the different um, stars and everything. But I think I'm going to go with this one. It looks kind of like a Geo. Or it kind of, and this is what it reminded me of, is like a Sonic Boom. Um, because remember when he steals, I don't want to, I don't know how much people, I, well, you know, it's, I guess, right, spoiler alert, right, like six years later. But, um. You know, when he sort of warps into another zone, it's sort of, he has this little purpley cloud that kind of appears and pulls him in. And so I thought it kind of had that same look. So I thought that would be really cool to use that. And it has the really awesome just holograph, you know, rainbow color on there, like behind him. So as I move the card, like in the light, it'll go from shades of anywhere between red all the way into almost a blue purple. So it's really cool. I, I love when they have like the hologram stuff in there. I think some of that just adds a little extra to your card making. So I'm going to hold on to this little scrap because maybe I'll put something special on the card. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and grab that little, there we go, that little sentiment. And I am going to put it like a fourth of an inch from the bottom, maybe even a little less. Um, I really want to make sure that um, you know, I have as much space for Loki as possible. Even just having the card sit there with the light on it. Look at how cool the little hologram colors are. So what I decided to do for Loki, um, I love foam risers, especially when you're doing character cards like this. And so here's my foam risers that I got. Um, and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of them on the back so the, car, the actual Loki image um, can stand up to a little bit of wear and tear. And he's got a little support, so we're just going to stick those on there real quick. Here we go, I'll show you so you can see. And there's no rhyme or reason, just make sure that the image that you're going to be sticking to the card 
is going to be nice and solid. You know, you don't want to leave it where it, he might sink. Um, cause over time, like, let's say you just did smaller ones around and you left a circle in the middle empty. The image itself could wear and sink eventually, if that makes any sense. Um, and I just recently, I cut my nails really short. And so I could not get the little peels off the back of the foam risers. I usually in, enable one of my kids and to enlist them into, uh, you know, doing that part of the process for me. But I just cut my nails down and I do a lot of typing on the keyboard and so I always keep them nice and short. Alright, so here we go and I'm going to put them right, so almost like it's like a sonic boom kind of right behind him. Let me just see if I can... There we go, like he's almost standing on that platform, that's fun. Alright. Now watch how cool this looks. Now, again, foam risers, I love them because they give that little extra. Um, oh, I had this idea. I think I'm going to cut out this little heart. Now watch what I'm going to do. I like to add, like if I'm stamping, like I did a card a couple months ago where I had these little cats all over the front of it. And then I actually put one of the cats inside the card. So... I had the idea to cut out this little heart and then go ahead and sign my name on the back of the card just to add more to it. Now, it could have been really cool to put some of that um, hologram paper maybe on the inside of the card. That would have been cool too. Um, I find that just adding that little bit extra when people open it up, it just feels, I don't know, I like the way it feels. So I'm in love with this card. I think it's so much fun. And again, you saw how I made the fun Mickey and now um, I've done this fun card. Look at how cool. I love the hologram. It's so much fun. Well, a couple comments down below. Are you watching Loki and what character from the Marvel Universe should I draw next? I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the little owl up in that little circle. And then uh, be sure to watch some of our other videos and I'd love to have you return again. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to visit our website JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Take care everybody. Bye bye.